Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Marisa. How are you? Hope everyone is having a great day. So today you see literally 17 cups in front of you. Um, if you remember in some of my other videos when I'm using this space, which is on my floor and my beautiful crazy yoga mat, um, I had a, quite a few cups in the corner, and that was unused leftover paint, ba basically, from other pores. And, you know, I try to use them up. I have tried saving them before, um, but a lot of times I kind of forget about it. I start something new, and then I don't use it, and I have to throw out the leftover paint. So I am tired of doing that. I don't want to waste any paint. And after uh, yesterday's pour, I wound up with six more cups of uh, leftover paint, which was from the um, neon painting using the dustpan. Okay, so I'm like, no, I need to use this paint up. I have leftover paint from my chakra paintings, and you know that was last week. So I don't want to waste any more paint. So today, I am going to do a pour. Now, I don't know exactly how much um, paint I'm going to wind up with. I wanted to use my new little 5x7 canvases here. Um, I may have, well, I'm going to definitely have too much paint for just one painting because it's a pretty small canvas. Um, so I will probably have uh, enough paint for two. I mean, who knows? I may have more than that. So I may wind up with three paintings today. So today I'm just going to do a straight pour on these guys and I'm going to be using all my leftover paint. So I am going to prime the canvas. Oh, okay, so if I do two, which I probably will, one of them I'm going to use the, I'm going to coat it, prime it, with the Serum Coat uh, Black Paint with Floetrol, and then on the other one, I am going to use the White Serum Coat, okay, with uh, Floetrol as well, and we'll see how that um, comes out. And, oh yes, and as far as materials are concerned, that is going to be a very, very long list of stuff. This is all leftover stuff. There is different materials in each one. It could be so many different um, pouring means. I could have try art, try art and uh, pouring me in one cup. I could have deco art in another, just flow troll, mixtures, silicone. So let's just say... As far as materials, there's everything in here. So I'm not going to do a list of materials today because it's going to be way too long a list. Um, just realize that there's going to be Arteza paint, there's going to be Serum Coat, there's going to be probably um, folk art, deco art paint, um, artist's loft, every, everything I have is probably going to be in this painting, which... I've never really tried this before, kind of using all my paint. So who knows how it's going to come out. All right. So that's what we're doing today. All right, guys. So I will be back. Oh, yeah. So I will be back. I am going to um, basically pour all of these colors into one or two cups. Okay. And I will be back and we will start the pour. All right. See you in a minute. Guys, I'm back. So I poured all the paint in all the cups, and I have a lot. This is a lot. Um, so I changed the size of my canvases, okay? Uh, this two cups, by the way. That's one cup, and that's the other one. All the colors mixed in. So I am changing the size of my canvases uh, to two 8x10s. I do have a 16 by 20 I have quite a few of them. But I don't know if that's enough paint for that, to be quite honest. So I'm going to do two 8x10s, and I may actually have enough for one 5x7. So we're going to take it as we go. I'm still going to do one canvas white, uh, priming it white, and one canvas black. Because I have a lot of neons in there, I have gold. So, you know, the white and black look very different. So, I mean, look at all of those empty cups now. I'm so happy. Some of them I'll save to cover. Um, those little plastic ones I'll save 
to cover um, other uh, leftover paint. All right, so let's get going, and I'm going to come back in a second set up. All right, see you in a sec.
Hey guys, I am back. So, here they both are. My goodness, I love them. Sorry about that ring light. I'm trying to get light on the subject here, but not get, you know, the reflection. Wow, this is the one with the white underneath, the prime white. I love that. I need to do this more often. And I'm not, I'm not going to say it like I was just thinking about what I wanted to say and how I felt about this. And it was like almost like, not that I didn't care, but kind of like getting rid of every, any, everything. It's kind of weird, like, um, you know, painting definitely helps with stress and can help with emotions and all that. And it was almost like getting rid of all, all that like old paint being stored up was kind of like getting rid of old crap in your life in a way. So this was like incredibly therapeutic for me and it was a lot of fun. This was amazing. I love this one. A lot of cells and like I said, I don't know what the heck is in this. It's like everything. And this is the one prime with black and this is just beautiful too. Again, the ring light. Bye. Ah, that's actually better. Okay. Yeah, so this is awesome. I love them both. I need to do this more often. Almost like, you know, in a way like putting in a painting what you want. Like, who cares if you're using different pouring mediums, da 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 da. Sometimes we plan everything out and... You know, it doesn't work or it works, whatever, but you know what? Sometimes it's just like kind of letting go is really just very, very therapeutic. And this for me was letting go of a lot of stuff. <clears throat> so I hope you enjoyed it. I love them both. I think they're just very unique and, you know, in their own way. This one has more cells in it. But this is like very moody. I love this one. Yeah, this one had more neons in it. That's why I used the black underneath. Yeah, guys. So thank you so, so much for watching today. I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did. If you have old paint, if you have old stuff in your life, if you have old feelings, you know what? Today is the day to let it all go. That is my motto for today. And if you enjoy this video, please subscribe to my channel. Leave me a little like. Leave me a comment. Let me know how you're feeling, what you're doing today. I really love, uh, you know, communicating with you guys. And I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Have a wonderful day.